Good evening. He's accused of beating an Albuquerque teen nearly to death with a shovel. Investigators say DNA linked him to the crime nearly a decade later. But as News 13's Marissa Lucero found out, that time gap is why his attorney says some of those charges should be dropped. It would take almost 10 years before Brittany Marcel would come face to face with Justin Hansen inside a courtroom. If my mom would not have come home that day, I probably wouldn't be here today. Hansen is accused of beating the then Cibola High School student with a shovel inside her northwest Albuquerque home in 2008. The 17 year old woke up from a coma with no memory of who put her there until she remembered his name in October of 2016. Police arrested him last July after his DNA matched the DNA from blood found at the crime scene. Since police didn't have a suspect for nearly a decade, prosecutors originally filed charges under the name John Doe in 2010. UNM law professor Joshua Kastenberg says there's a reason for that. A prosecutor might seek an indictment against an unknown person, a Jane Doe or a John Doe, to stop that statute of limitations. Giving police more time to find their suspect. The DA's office amended the indictment last year, replacing John Doe with Hansen's name. Hansen is charged with attempted murder, kidnapping, burglary, battery, and child abuse. The 34 year old is now arguing some of those charges should be dropped because the statute of limitations has run out. It's designed to force the state or the federal government to take things trial to trial quickly. In a motion filed yesterday, Hansen's attorney argues that in John Doe cases with DNA evidence, New Mexico law only allows the statute of limitations to be put on pause when the crime is rape, a charge Hansen is not facing. Marissa Lucero, KRQE News 13. Hansen's defense filed a second motion to once again ask the judge to change the conditions of his release. He does not like that a family member has to watch him at all times while he's out awaiting trial.